I believe there is time for everything. And yet, slowly, we grow up and fall for the idea that we're restricted by the time we have. I have fallen for this idea. Not doing everything I can to not waste my time is probably the most terrifying thing I can seek to do. Still, I find myself doing what I can to look away. Today I'm going to share with you a little bit of my workflow, some of the templates that I use and overall how I do to organize my life. So on weeks like this I like to start by setting a rough idea of what I'm planning to do. I think that's a reasonable time frame because it lets me just enough time to have room for unplanned events. But at least I'm sure that no matter what I'll be able to complete all those tasks. So this is what my calendar looks like. As you can see, I've divided my time into three different categories. There is everything content related, so I know when I can film, script, or edit my videos. Then there is everything for my schoolwork. So I like to set time frames for when I'm transiting. Since I take the train every day to uni, I know that I have some time on my hands for assignments or for some classes that I've missed. Uh, that way I can get schoolwork out of the way and have more time for uh, YouTube content. But then I leave the rest of the time blank um, because this is not a set time frame. It is just to give me a rough idea of what my week's gonna look like. So what I need to do and when I have free time to do it. But I move things around super freely and sometimes I add things, sometimes I remove them when I know that I won't make it or that some tasks don't need my attention after all. Maybe you've noticed I'm a very visual person and I need a place to manage and organize all my projects. This is where a notion comes in place. So I like to keep everything in one place from my idea catalog to my checklists. And I've got mainly four pages for my YouTube, uni, my ideas, and the daily stories that I like to tell to um, maybe get some ideas for the future. So let's go to my YouTube page. There we go. Right at the top, I've got what I'm working on right now. That way it's really accessible. And when you scroll down, you've got what I'm working on, but on the side. So it's not as immediate. And when you go to progress, you can change it. So if I'm editing, I can just change it to that. And at the bottom, this is actually my favorite part. This is where I keep all my videos that I've already posted with the thumbnail as a cover. And I think it looks really cool. So if you do anything more than once, you're going to need a system for that process. This is where my templates come in place. So I'll show you that quickly. So you've got all my checklists for every video. So first you've got the checklist. So the shot list, the editing checklist, then there is the content part with the script and some of the shot inspiration, if I have one. Then there's everything about the video information with title ideas, description, song ideas, and thumbnail ideas. And that's about it.
deep into your business now Hey baby, can you tell? I'm not a criminal Your toys are seminal I want you Then the idea dump page is where I dump all the random ideas I get and I like to have it in a digital form so that way I know that wherever I am I can access it and so at the top you've got all my ideas that I haven't looked at yet then there are the ones that are being used at the moment and finally the archive for videos that I know for ideas sorry that I know that I won't be using let's go into one idea organize it with tags so that way I know if it's a YouTube video, a short idea or a dialogue idea or even something to try to look up whatever. Then I like to rate the idea so when I go back I know that this idea has some potential and it could be used um, or I know that it's just a, a weird idea. <laughs> But some part of my ideation process still is on paper. I don't really know why, but I'm, when I'm trying to take the idea to the next stage, I like to just take a pen and paper and write down whatever comes to mind. I find it helps me have the creativity and, I don't know, just no pressure. And usually when I feel like I'm going somewhere with the idea, I take it to Notion, so to the first YouTube page and that way I can script it and develop it further. I hope it was useful today to see how I organize my life with those three steps. Um, hope you guys enjoyed and as always thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you soon.